Good morning, Fate Fam. Got another mod review for everybody. The mod that we're going to be reviewing today is the KZ Box mod. Everybody's been seeing me post on Instagram, blowing clouds with this thing. It, it's a beast of a box mod, you know? A buddy of mine was telling me that um, for my first box mod, it's supposed to like knock my socks off. And this one comes pretty close, you know. Um, I don't really know what to expect from a box mod, seeing how this is my very first one. But I do like the vapor production that it gives me with both single and dual um, 18650s. The, uh, the wood itself is a red oak. It's a solid red oak encasing. Um, he polished it with, I believe this is the red oak, red oak stain, and he used a, a high gloss polish on it to give it that shiny look, as well as to protect the wood itself. Um, I actually thought it was going to be a little bit bigger than, than what it is when I first got it. I guess it just looks bigger in the pictures, but it's, it's really not that big. You know, it, it holds, you know, in my hand quite nicely. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get in and talk about this thing. Let's take this door off. The doors, um, this one, he just, he, he made, he didn't put any magnets or anything on it. Um, but the ones that he makes do come with magnets. As you can see, this one doesn't have anything. So it's actually literally just like, um, like a, a push in type of deal. And it works fine for me. It sits nice and flush. Doesn't door doesn't come off. It doesn't ever get stuck or anything like that. So, um, he, he texted me the other day, the maker of this shout out to Christian. Thank you very much for this mod. Um, Christian sent me a text asking me if I wanted to uh, send him back the mod so that he can put magnets on it. And to be honest with you, like it, for me, it doesn't need magnets. You know, the door sits in there very nicely. It sits flush. You know, it's very nice, very nice. So the inside, the guts, the wiring, what makes this thing powerful? He used, that looks like uh, 18 gauge. It's either 18 or 16, I'm not sure, maybe 20. I don't know, I'm bad with those gauges. But um, it's solid copper wiring. As you can see, he's got these little spiral things down here, like the little copper springs. Um, they don't really move, which is great. Like the batteries, literally, you just put them in there and they stick. You know, they don't come out easily or anything like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, copper wiring. As you can see, he runs the wire through the through the corner over here, which is neat. It keeps everything nice and neat and tidy. And then the the top is a little copper plate. Y'all can see that right there. And he uses all copper wiring that he um, super glues inside this, uh, this, he told me keeps the wires cool. It doesn't keep them like they don't heat up and stuff. So this, the helps keep them cool and stuff. Um, solid brass 510 connection, which is really cool for uh, good conductivity. And this is a anti vandal switch rated at two amps at 48 volts. So this little thing puts out some power. I'm um, I'm pretty pretty pleased with it. I'm quite enthused. Um, I was excited whenever I got it. Um, as you can see, the batteries like literally just pop right in and pop right out. They're not a tight fit, but they're not too loose either, and they don't come out. You know, so for uh, for my first box mod, I gotta say that I am kind of I, I am kind of uh, impressed with it. Um, you know, I was I was seeing his his box mods. I think he started following me or whatnot, and I started looking at his mods and stuff. And I was like, wow, you know, this uh, this guy's just starting out. It looks like he he really knows what he's doing, you know. And um, talking to talking to a couple people, he actually got some ideas off of another modder, and he kind of just incorporated it into his mods, which um, I guess is is pretty nice, you know. Um, 
the atomizer that I've been running on this thing, because it does push a lot of power, is the IGO W5 with the Apex cap on it. As y'all can see, there's absolutely, you can see the coils in there. There's absolutely no restriction in there. Um, the only downside to this ad, to this this box mod is you can't see it with this Apex cap on, but um, none of the Addies sit flush on the mod itself because if you if you look that 510 connection is literally just raised up by like a millimeter, you know, just that little bit, that little you know that little bit of that top connection um, makes everything not sit flush but with this apex cap I just pushed it down you know um, loving this apex cap thing that I got from Lowe's uh, I see a lot of people are doing it I actually got this one from uh, my boy Jacob um, shout out Jacob maker of the Ankh mod what's up homie he actually gave me this idea. Um, I saw him running one on one of his mods and I was like, dude, what is that? And he told me, you know, what it was. He told me to go pick one up. They're cheap. They're two bucks and some change at Lowe's. You know, then you got to buy um, the heavy duty O-rings because no regular O-ring will fit on it. Um, I would take it off and show you, but it's a bitch to get back on. So the only time I really take this off is to change the coils. And... I don't do that very often on this thing, um, but yeah, drip some uh, tasty bang bang boom from Cali Cloud Vapors. Shout out to Cali Cloud Vapors. Um, got y'all juice reviews coming very soon. I'm still in the middle of trying all your juices too, so <laughs> be patient. But um, yeah, y'all check out Cali Cloud Vapors as well. They got some fire fire juices. Um, so you can literally like just drip it down inside that hole and no issues whatsoever. So give y'all some, uh, performance. It's a beast dude. Like seriously. quite impressed with it. see with like two second pulls on it this thing puts out some massive vapor um, I'm used to locking my mods right after I get through using them unfortunately this doesn't have a locking mechanism so if you do decide to get one you got to be very conscientious as to how you put it because this button it's it's light you know um, it's a great <laughs> great mod um, enjoying it thoroughly I haven't had an opportunity to do any cloud contests with it yet because well most cloud contests are for single 18650s but maybe I'll uh, challenge some folks who have box mods to a cloud contest and I might get my ass whooped because the clouds that I see coming off of some of these box mods are insane so Thank you everybody for checking out this review. Um, once again, shout out to Christian for sending me this box mod. I appreciate it, dude. Um, shout out to Cali Cloud Vapors. Y'all go check out their juice. Awesome juice, awesome. I'm loving this bang, bang, boom. Um, shout out to Jacob for hitting me up, uh, giving me some information with this Apex cap from Lowe's. Once again, Lowe's cap. It's in the plumbing section, three quarter inch, female adapter. 
and get the O-rings to match. I believe they're the number 30 O-rings. Shout out to Cutwood. What's up, fellas? And um, yeah, thanks for checking out this review. Greatly appreciate it. Vape safe, vape on, and as always, stay cloudy.